Well, good evening, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. So, sorry, first and foremost, if I'm not my perky usual self. Um, things happened yesterday at work. So, I'm at work. And I should just keep this till the end of the video, but you know what? I haven't been able to talk to anybody but my wife about it, so... I'm at work and a fight breaks out outside, so I go outside to break up the fight, you know, Bouncer Chad comes out, and I'm breaking up said fight. And as I break up said fight, this very intoxicated lady turns around, stumbles over, and full hand palms my balls and nuts, and well, my nuts and dick and everything, just everything, right? But, yeah, she's like, I want you, big boy, don't you want me? And I... I've never... I know the thought is that as a guy, you should be like, yeah! Like, society society pushes that guys should be like, yeah, somebody touched my nuts. And I'm, I didn't want that. I didn't want that. I've had that happen to me once in my younger years, and I didn't want it then. I didn't want it now. I have a wife who I love with all my heart, who is the only person I want touching that. And I felt weird since. And I felt weird for a few reasons, because if I was a girl and a guy grabbed me by the tits or grabbed me by the dick, uh, grabbed me by the pussy or anything like that, I could have cold cocked him in the mouth and everybody would have been fine with it. Because I'm a guy and it was a girl that grabbed me, I'm supposed to just shrug it off and walk away. I can't cold cock her, because then I hit a woman. I can't talk about it because I'm being a pussy. I can't feel bad about it because, hey, somebody touched your dick. Who cares? I can't... I don't like it. I don't like feeling that way. I don't like that I felt that way. But that's what happened. And... I guess this has turned into a heart-to-heart -heart video because I was just going to do a beer review, but uh, I, this is this is what's happening now. So I felt weird since I felt this weird empty pit, like empty feeling in my stomach about it since it happened, and mostly because I don't know how to I don't know how to. I don't know how to get past what happened in the fact that I feel I feel bad for my wife more than myself because even though it wasn't it didn't happen to her I feel like I feel like the fact that I couldn't cold cock the, the bitch in the face makes it almost as if like I accepted it and I didn't and I won't, and I didn't want that, and again, the only one that I want to have touch me there is, is Alicia, and I've been, you know, I've been through a lot in my life, I've been beat, I've been degraded, I've been, I've been everything my whole life, I had parents who told me I could never please a woman, I had... I had people tell me how no woman would ever want me because I was blind and, you know, who wants a Santa Claus looking motherfucker and, and a, a huge line of things. And none of that really affected me the way this did. And on top of the not seeing my kids and all the time I haven't seen them and on top of everything else, it, it just... This happened last night. I've been having trouble in the masculine department since that happened. I, I was home last night and my wife wanted to try and show me how much she loved me and I and how much she wanted me and how much I mattered to her and and nothing nothing could come from it because nothing could come from it. And I don't know Uh, 
not. Uh, yeah, whatever. Bye, guys.